Paul Sykes, dangerous Wakefield heavyweight, opened the way for a free fight series in the United States this summer when he beat Neville Mead, the Swansea-based Jamaican, on a fifth-round stoppage at the Yorkshire Executive SC. Watching from ringside was New York matchmaker George Cantor, a personal representative of promoter Don King. Sykes, having only his fourth paid bout, had to climb from the canvas to clinch his big chance, for he was dumped by Mead from a thumping right to the jaw in the third round. The punch would have finished most British heavyweights, but Hardman Sykes was up at four, and though somewhat shaken, waded straight back. Superior fitness eventually proved the key factor. Paul was clearly in better shape. Sykes opened confidently with a few crisp searching jabs, but it was Mead who got in the first telling shot and left to Paul's head. The auctionman took it well, but grimaced, then grinned, when Neville followed up with a jolting right. Sykes momentarily backed off, yet it was Mead who was covering up when the bell to end the round sounded. Neville, who has been the distance in a losing effort with Spain's reigning European champion, Alfredo Evangelista, is always dangerous in the opening rounds. But Sykes picked his punches nicely in an effort to open Mead up. As early as the second trace of blood showed on Mead's face from a bleeding mouth, and Neville was glad of the respite the bell afforded him. Sykes surged forward in the third, firing a good left to the chin. He had Mead rocking from sustained pressure in a neutral corner, but as he became more confident, Paul allowed himself to be caught by Neville's big punch. The blow spun Sykes around and sent him toppling over. Paul, however, dragged himself upright as referee Wally Thorne ordered them to box on. Sykes immediately resumed the offensive. The round ended with Mead taking stick, facing the wrong, wrong way around against the ropes. Paul was more cautious as he opened the fourth, but after ramming in several jabs, he'd suddenly banged over a powerful right which wobbled Neville. Mead looked groggy and glassy-eyed, but he kept upright and took all Sykes had to give. By the fifth, however, Mead was merely going through the motions, tottering on the verge of defeat. When Sykes mounted a furious assault, which lasted for fully 30 seconds without a single reply, referee Thom decided he had seen enough, and after 1 minute 45 seconds of the round, intervened. <laughs>